Hey guys, welcome to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. This is my teeny weeny little vlog post for today. I have some things, some housekeeping I wanted to catch up with you guys. Um, one, just to let you guys know, we are still here, still surviving. The coronavirus hasn't gotten us yet, but our school system has shut down and my kids are at home for two weeks and I'm pretty sure they're going to drive me crazy. Thankfully, they're old enough to be pretty much self-sufficient. I just got to make sure I throw a lot of chores and homework at them to keep them busy until school starts again. Um, some of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have here on my list, so I'm going to be looking down. So here, here's my list. I'm going to be looking down at it so I can see what I'm supposed to be talking about. Um, one of the first things that I want to talk to you guys about is like my channel has made it over a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel to help support my channel and doing whatever it is that you guys do to support my channel. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the clicks, all the likes that you guys click on, the fact that you've subscribed to my channel. And even though it's a small number compared to like a lot of other channels out there on the YouTube world, I am very grateful for you guys. So thank you very much. Um, and because I've hit a thousand subscribers, my community tab is now open. So if you guys go onto my main page and you scroll through, it's like channels and videos and about, there's a community tab open. And if you go there, I have already posted a couple of things and I have a poll there posted. I'm trying to figure out, I can't decide. I need you guys to help me. I can't decide what charitable sewing I'm going to do first for this, for this year. So I was thinking... Ryan's Case for Smiles, which is making pillowcases, and I'll teach you how to make a pillowcase, or it's a dress a girl around the world, and that what they do is they take pillowcases and convert them into dresses for the girls. So I can't figure out which one to do, and so I need you guys to help me. So go over there to the community tab, there's a poll there, and you just click on your choices, which one you would want to see first. I'm going to do both of them eventually. I just don't know which one to do first. So go over there and help me out and I would appreciate it because I am so indecisive right now. Um, I had planned on going to our, uh, the original sewing, let's see, what is it? The original, the original sewing expo, sewing, the original something sewing expo. It's actually located in Atlanta, Georgia. I was going to visit it to, um, try to get some better footage than I did last year because last year I went and my footage was all wonky and everything but I have this new nifty gimbal, 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 I always forget the name, a gimbal that I could use this year and I had my sister that was going to go with me but because of the coronavirus everything's been shut down so I'm not going to be able to go and the sewing expo has been shut down anyways. So I'm totally missing this year on going to the sewing expo but I am hoping in April, I'm hoping everything has died down by then and Pinterest is supposed to be coming to the Atlanta area and I'm hoping to hit the Pinterest convention or expo or whatever Pinterest does. So that would be the first time I would go to that and I have heard from friends that it's really cool and I want to go to that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll get some pictures and I'll get some video and I can share it with you guys to see how it is. Other than that, we're just hanging in here, we're just doing what we're doing. My sewing room is a mess, chaos everywhere. I have a pile of mending that I need to do. I have some machine embroidery that I wanna do. I have a cap I wanna try for my son. And I'm trying to figure out on my next, my next tutorial as well. So throw some comments down there. Let me know what you guys think about the tutorials and let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm thinking buttonholes, maybe a short series about buttonholes next, cause I'm planning to make a button down shirt. With some material that I got. Since I can't go to Joann's or the fabric stores anymore temporarily, I'm trying to work for my stash. So I have some really nice fabrics in my stash that I that I really need to use so I can go get some more fabric. So anyways, I'm glad you were with me today. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope nobody out there is getting sick or at least too sick considering we're being hit with spring coming. So pollen is hitting us and then the coronavirus and the flu and ugh. Stay home, stay in your sewing rooms, and just self-quarantine in your sewing room with your fabric and your thread. I mean, I would do the same thing, but I got kids. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyways, you guys take care of yourselves. Throw comments down there. Let me know what I should be doing next. And hit that poll on the community tab, and I'll see you guys in the next video.